What's up guys, today we are doing another unboxing. This is a tripod. Uh, if you can see in the picture here, it has the tripod with the extendable arms and then a monopod here so you can do overhead camera and stuff like that. Because what I notice when I do overhead camera and if I'm shaking the desk, it's pretty noticeable on camera. So if I get something that's not connected to the desk, that is will be good so I got this on Amazon it's I don't know what the brand is um, I'll put the link in the description um, of all the details but this is just an unboxing so it comes in this case Case it has no pockets, has this strap, shoulder strap, so I guess you can carry it. Okay, let's have a look at this. Packaging, so Andor, Andair. Tripod, this is the manual. Don't know why there's plastic. No need for that. Welcome to choose Andor Tripod, axial horizontal series tripod with various functions, beautiful appearance and easy to use. It is very suitable for a digital camera, SLR camera and camera. It is an ideal choice for your professional photography, multi-angle stable shooting and macro shooting. So there it has the description of it. So the ball head, yeah, it has its own ball head. Ooh, there's an Allen wrench. Not sure what that is for. So these all move off oh, too. I think that's a five and a seven. It's kind of wrapped in plastic. So this is the ball head. That they're talking about I think yeah it screws off uh, there's a lot of dirt there coming off there I don't know if you can see that actually is that damage no I thought that was a crack here this is the ball head I want to flip this actually how does this dismount okay let's take a look at the the leg we we'll just I'm going to do a review of this because it's kind of difficult to just do the desk unboxing. There, ah, okay. There's two things here. I'm going to see if I can flip it. Does this loosen? Oh, there's something here locking it. Ah. What's the deal with that? This is a spring loaded thing here. Oh, okay. I thought this comes out fully. This is upside down. Okay. So normally it would be like this, and this would be on top. I want to see how good this ball head is. Hey, there's a bit of something. Yeah, this is kind of flaking all over the place. Okay. So this main freeze lock, does this lock the ball head? Yeah, this one locks the ball head. So loosen, that's good. This one loosens this, so you can put your camera onto the here. Just mount it using the, the quarter inch, 
you lock it down. It's quite nice. These two, I'm not sure. Does it swivel on its own? Let's see what it says here. Uh, it doesn't say anything. It just has the description of the No. I see that there's like uh, numbers here, but let me see if I t tighten this one. Does it stop moving? No, it still moves. Tighten this one. Okay, this one controls the rotation of the 360. This one, I don't know. This one's for the ball head. Unless, hang on, I'm gonna loosen this one. Tighten this one. Ah, so it has two. Two of these are to lock the ball head. It's kind of weird. Why do you need two? Okay, I'm going to, all right, I want to see how, so this is a normal tripod with the extension that goes up. You can unscrew this thing. It looks like there's a screwdriver and a spring on this. And then I'm going to take this out. It's stuck. Okay, it's out. And then you can put it through here, supposedly. Okay, it only goes in one direction. There's a slot here, you can see. It only goes in one way. That's nice. Then you lock it in. It's going to spin it around. So you can lock that. And then this locks this. Not bad. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there. I just wanted to see. Oh, this is the where you put the weight. So you can hang something like your backpack or whatever to make it heavy. But you won't need it. when Actually, you, you do. If you have a heavy DSLR, you put it here. And then you counterweight it with whatever object here. Um, I have to figure, oh, it looks like, yeah, you can tighten the legs individually here with this wrench. This one, I don't know, there's nothing that sticks out. What's this? A lock and unlock symbol. What does that mean? Twist it or to unlock? I wish they had better instructions instead of this. All right, I'm gonna go figure out what the deal is with the legs and I'll probably do a separate video uh, with a proper review of this. All right, guys, thanks for watching the unboxing. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.